Hi there, welcome back to JD Answers. Today we're going to install the B Angel rear view mirror dash cam, which also comes with a rear camera. To install the rear cam, usually on a hatchback like this, the camera is usually back here. But usually the windows always is tinted. Well, it's always tinted. And then when you look at your footage, it looks like it's dark half the time. And then we come down, but the license plate is lower because this is a hatchback. So we're gonna have to go inside here so we're gonna have to go where the handles are at to get into the area we need to put the dash cam and then from the inside well that will be simple because we always go to the top of the headliner before you get started tearing your car apart just make sure you go through all the different options you have this is the area where I was thinking of putting the dash cam. Sorry, we're in the light. So I was thinking of mounting it here. So when you close the hatch, I was thinking of putting the camera here on the right side of the license plate. So I'm block the license plate. Some states will give you a ticket if you put anything around the license plate. I mean, in front of the license plate. In Texas, they will. So in order to put it there, to mount it up, I would have to take this panel off. All this panel here. So I could work the, work the wires into here. And then from there, work them inside the top headliner to the front rear view mirror. But if you keep looking down, I could easily just mount it here, run the wire through the weather strip, and up into the headliner. And I don't have to take any of this paneling off, work the wire through the middle here, and all the way in there. So that's what I'm gonna do. In order to do that, I'm gonna, Take this weather strip off, run the wire, run the wire up inside the weather strip to the headliner. That is the easiest option and I don't have to tear up the vehicle because it's the same thing as putting it on the hatchback lid. Let me close this and you can see what I'm talking about. See, I'll have it mounted here, but it's the same thing as mounting it right there. This is what I'm talking about, knowing your options as you're working your vehicle. Look around, see what other options you have. That way it makes your work easier and you don't have to tear up your vehicle. The first thing we wanna do is know exactly where we're gonna put this. Normally it'll be on top here, but since we're going on the actual bumper, we're gonna put it like this. So we're gonna position it. We don't wanna be around the license plate. We're gonna move more to the right. Get our drill and just do a one just to mark it. Now we could go ahead and open up the hatch back here. Now we're ready to drill it in. You pretty much want to drill this with the smallest torque. That way you don't strip the screw. All right, next, you want to make sure it's straight on the outside. Hold it down and go ahead and drill to exactly where you need it. All right, now let's go ahead and screw in the other part. Again, smallest torque. We're gonna go ahead and line it up first to make sure it's straight. All right, 
uh, make sure it's straight. You loosen it up. That's where I want it. Straighten out the other side and just tighten it up now. That's all I'm doing is tightening up. All right, good, it's not moving. If you want, you could actually use this mounting tab underneath it to make it a more secure connection. But with these screws, it ain't gonna go nowhere. And this is pretty much used for the windows anyway. Now, once you have it where you want to, now you could just start screwing in the sides to make sure it's leveled. Because right now it's facing up a little bit, which might be okay. I can't get that screwdriver. So I'm gonna tighten this up to make it tight. See how it's already facing down? Then it's already tight now. We are done installing the dash cam to the bumper. Now we start running the wires. So what I'm gonna do is just start taking off the weather strip. We only need to take a small piece off so we can start running the wires underneath it. We're going to connect it now. And pretty much all you have to do is just push it in and turn and eventually make a connection. So I'm moving the weather strip up here. I'm simply going to put it here and just tuck it in underneath. And that's how simple that is. I'm not going to put the weather strip in until I'm until I got it all where I need to go, run it all there in there. And simply what we're doing is we're pushing it behind everything, and we're just going to keep running the wire up. We're going to push it in behind. There it goes. Keep running it up. Now we are at the tail light. So now we could remove the tail light so we could get to the backup light so we could install the red wire. I removed the tail light. And what I'm gonna do is remove this harness that's in the way so I could uh, install the red wire. You simply is just a pull out. And I just want to show you, this is where we want to tap into. And if you follow it all the way around, it'll be this here, these wires. It's like a red and a, a red orange and a black wire. And we don't want to tap into the black wire. We're going to tap into the red wire or orange. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use a T-tap, okay? And this T-tap, on the T-tap, what you do is you get your wire, you get your T here, you put it underneath the wire, and those teeth, the silver teeth, once you close this, it's going to break the wire and cause a connection. And with the red wire, With the red wire, we're gonna use this terminal. Let me get out of the light. This terminal to marry them together. And which is gonna enable the backup camera to work. So let's get started. Okay, so we have the, our wire. We're gonna install the T-tap. It's underneath it. We're going to close it by hand first. Then we're going to get a gripping tool. And we're going to just close it with that to make a, a tighter connection. Press firmly. Hold it together with your hand. Now we're going to go to the other side. Let's just go straight up and down. There it goes. Closing it. 
Now simply pull it with your hand, tug it to make sure it's secure. It is. All right, now let's get to the red wire. These wires are, are pretty thin, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut about, about three fourths to an inch off. All right, I'm gonna twist these wires together. The reason I, I took three fourths of an inch off is be to make a more secure connection inside the actual terminal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in half and twist it together. Okay, with the wire folded, I got the terminal with inside a gripping tool where I could view the wire is going to go in and out. So I'm going to insert the wire and I can see the wire coming out. So that means it's a, it has a connection in there. Let me see if I can show you if you can see it. All right, so now I'm just going to squeeze the wire. Okay. I'm going to go to the other side. Squeeze in the wire, again, closer to the end, squeeze. Now this one, you don't want to tug too hard right now. Make sure it's real tug first and then you can pull harder, which I'm pulling harder now. That means you have a secure connection. Now that I have the wires together, I can put the harness back into the light. It's clicked, it's in there. Now, our terminal we could put them together now all right just make sure the terminal goes in the middle in the whole area you may have to just work with it a little bit to bend it in there it goes all right it's in there now Now we can just put the light back, but we're not going to screw it in yet. What you want to do is install the band completely on the side with the camera. On the opposite side, on the bottom, you want to leave the band open. That way you can wrap it around the rear view mirror and close it here. So I'm going to install the dash cam with the camera part first. And as I'm doing that, the, the rear, the, the camera is sliding out. Now I'm going to wrap this one from behind and just simply put back in there. Let's see. There we go. Okay. It pretty much went in by itself. Now you, all you do is just adjust it to where you want your rear view mirror to go. Make sure the dash cam has nothing blocking it and it's installed. That's how easy it was. Now we're ready to test the dash cam. We'll turn the vehicle on. And just a minute, you should start seeing, there he goes, the B Angel icon. And you can see the front dash cam is showing the front. Now, what I'm gonna do now is switch it to the rear view. And you can see the carport behind me there. Now what I'm going to do now, we need to see if the rear view, I'm sorry, the, the backup camera is working. I know there's a lot of glare, but I'm trying to see if I can get this to work. Put it in reverse. And right there you can see that it has the grid lines. So that means the rear view dash cam is working. So now let's get back to the installation. Now that we know it works, all we have to do now is just tuck in these wires. We're just gonna pull it out to the side and it's gonna go under the weather strip and that's all we have to do. So all you have to do is just pretty much tuck everything on the inside and you should be fine. So we're gonna keep taking the weather strip poop off just two up to go right here only. Alright, we're going to move that to the side. 
and then we're going to continue touching the wires then. Once we get it where we want it here, I'm going to just push it in there so it can hold it and make sure all the wires are secure and then we're just going to seal it up with the weather proof strip. The weatherproof strip is back and everything is is put back together and secured. We are now done installing the rear dash cam to the back part. Now we just got to go to the inside. This is a good opportunity to start washing your hands now because when you start touching the upholstery and the headliner, you want to make sure your hands are clean. Okay, so we're right here. Now before we move on any further, I'm going to go ahead and start the installation from the front desk cam. That way any slack will be over here towards the back area. In the front, as you can see there on the B, the B column, there's an airbag and an airbag in the front A, the A pillar. There's one right back here, but so we want to install the slack right underneath that handle. That way none of this wire is going to get caught in those airbag areas. I'm back at the front. I'm going to install the rear camera wire to the dash cam. And with my fingers, I'm simply just going to push it in, the wire into the uh, headliner. And there you go. See how simple that is? I was going. I'll get you another angle in just a minute. But I just want to show you from this part how easy it is. And that's pretty much it. Now you want to make sure you have a little bit more slack just so you could uh, adjust the mirror where as needed. All right, let me show you a different angle now. Here's another angle of putting in the wires. Now with your right hand, you want to hold the wire all the way to the A pillar, to the right side. And then with your left hand, you're simply just pushing in all the wires inside the headliner. And that's pretty much it. That's how easy it is. When you're at the side here, what you want to do is use this A pillar to help you hold this wire down. Because right now it could probably fall because it's not really in too much inside. But when you put it on this A pillar, it's going to brace the wire so it will not fall out from the button on the top here. So what you want to do is take off this weather strip right here. Which is fine because you're going to have to take it off anyway when the wire comes in this way. And with your A pillar, you want to simply, if you can't pull it off, if you can't, you want to just move it out a little bit here. And then with this wire, you're going to hold one side down and snap it between. Let me see if I can get out of the way, my hand out of the way. Snap it in between here, between the, the top headliner and the A pillar. Just push this part out a little bit and then just simply push in the wire with your hand. Now you're going to have some slack here on the top, which is fine, because you're going to do is hold it down with one hand here, and then the other side just pull it. But if it's not pulling too, uh, um, if it's pulling too tight, you don't want to pull it because then it'll rip the wire. So again, just push it back in there with your finger and push out the wire. Pulls it out. It's going smoothly. I'm trying to get in the camera. All right. And then it's in there. You have this side and it's all the way in. Now what you want to do now is just simply go back over it just to make sure it's in there. And it's in there function right. Alright, so now we got to do is this A pillar. Let me change the camera position and we'll go around. Now that we're here, we're just going to simply push this wire in. And then we're going to run the wire to the top. We're going to take this weather proof strip off more. And then we're going to run it here and inside this B pillar. Exactly the way we did over here. So let me push it in between, between the headliner and the frame. And then push in the weather strip. So let me do that. 
as the weather strip is going in you see where it's going in between the frame and that the, the weather strip proof will just come right over on top of it and that's how you're going to install that now this area might be a little tight this is one if you have any of these pry bars this helps or a flat screwdriver but you got to be careful you don't want to tear this so let, what you want to do if you have something here even a gift card could help you could put a gift card in there and this will act the same way so you want to hold the wire with one hand and actually i'm pushing it without even this and it's actually going in so i don't really use this so i'm going to put that down i'm going to run it across push it in with my hand oh oh wow it went in pretty smooth so I'm gonna check this part though. I'm gonna take this weatherproof scoop off. I just wanna make sure, okay, it is actually in there right. Okay, it's just the way it looks. Okay, so it's in there smoothly. Now we're going to the back. I'm gonna repeat the process as we do in the front to the back. So far, if this video has been helpful for you, don't forget to give me that thumbs up because I appreciate that from you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and select all notifications for all upcoming videos. Now let's continue. Okay, I'm gonna stop here because now we want the slack in this area. So now let's work on the, the other back side. Okay. All right, I'm in the back. I'm gonna work my way to the front. Simply using my hands, I'm just guiding it in. Okay, and now I could just start finish the back. Okay, I have all this slack. Now I'm just gonna push it into this area right here. Until you have no more slack. And then all you have to do now just put your weather strip back in. And the rear view camera is installed. Now let's work in the front. Now to install the power cable for the dash cam, we're gonna work from the rear view mirror all the way to the power source. So let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, I had to move down the mirror a little bit so I can see here. All right. And you notice the wire, it goes to the left. So we're gonna install it to the driver's side. Now just remember when you install it to the left to leave a little bit of slack so when they adjust the rear view mirror, it's not, the wire is not gonna come out from the top. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna show you step by step since we already done that. But I am going to start from this pillar here and work my way down and I'll show you how I'll be installing that. I'm going to keep pulling the weather strip down till we get to the kick plate right here. And then the wire is going to go inside here. So put the wire inside. And the reason we started from the camera down is because all the slack can go behind a carpet. And then I'm going to put the weather strip back on. Okay, so now all I have is just the bottom. Alright, getting it in all behind. I'm at the kick plate here. I'm going to turn it in. And then just put the weather strip on top. I'm not going to finalize this weather strip because i got to go inside. Okay, we're at the kick plate location. So all you have to do is simply push in this kick plate here and then you could start taking it off or just pretty much put the wire but it has to be under the clip. See how that right here that hole? That's a clip so you want to put that around there. And then you're simply just going to guide the wire around there and it's going to go up to the carpet area. And then from there 
we're gonna go behind this dash area. Now, if you could get it all around the carpet, that's good. What you don't want to do is put it behind, we put it around this, the brake, or the gas pedal. You want that completely away. Now, we could go all around the carpet, which I think we're gonna have, we have more than enough room, so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna route it behind the carpet. Okay, I'm getting behind there. Moving the power cord more closer. Remember, we're going behind the gas pedal, the very end. In order to do this, you have to have a lot of slack, and I still have a lot here to go to, because it's simply going right here. Okay, I got it behind the carpet. Now I'm rounding it under here, this uh, the center console, and then it's gonna go simply go to the top. Now I'm showing you how to go with carpet. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go underneath this column, but I just wanna show you how you can go on the carpet. And then from here, you can simply go the outlet right here, you plug it in there. Should just start breaking away. It usually has clips. I don't need to take it completely out. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it behind the metal and this uh, plate here. Okay. Now the parking brake's here, so I don't want to go behind it to cause it to uh, to not go all the way. We're going to go on top of it because we're going to the top. From underneath the dashboard, you're gonna see this wire holder here. Okay, this is the OBT, uh, the OB2 sensor that you use to test your car if it has any error codes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna route the wire on top of it. Okay, here it goes. And it's going on top, and this is actually gonna act as a holder for it. Now, we don't wanna pull too, we're gonna pull, you gotta be careful how much wire you pull because you don't want to pull too much. Remember, the slack's gonna go behind the carpet. Now that we have the wire behind the dashboard plate, the screws that hold this in is actually gonna hold the wire together. So we could go ahead and start putting this back together. Okay, I put it back and you can see how there's a little slack. So all I'm gonna do is just pull it from one side and then fix it from the bottom here. Now, I did not tighten up anything yet because I don't tighten up anything until I make sure everything is uh, secured and good. Now, here we got slack. So what I'm going to do is push it behind the carpet back here. So I moved the slack and now it's here. So what I'm gonna do now is push it behind this kick plate on this part of the kick plate, not here where we do the, the trunk control, I mean, sorry, the hood, the hood lever pushing it back here. All the slack is now behind there. I went ahead and just tying up everything. No wires are exposed. I put back the weather strip that was here that I left open and there is no wires exposed. So we are now done installing the front and rear dash cam. Now let's test it. We got it on. I see the B Angel icon come on, and the screen is now on. All right, what I'm going to do now is take the clear plastic covering off since we are completed installation. That is off. Now, what we're going to do is test to see the toggling between different camera views from Left to right, we're gonna slide and we have our rear camera. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and hit reverse. And we see the, the guidelines come on. We're gonna put it back in drive. 
all right and it has the rear camera let's get let's toggle between okay we have the picture and picture I'm gonna slide it to the left again you have the front camera I'm gonna slide it left to right again and we have the rear camera slide it left again and we have the picture and picture so sliding left to right gets you the different camera modes if this video was helpful for you give me that thumbs up because you know I appreciate that from you if you are interested in this product I have a link in the description to purchase if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and select all notifications for all upcoming videos thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe